Welcome everyone, Kwasim here on Serious Gaming, brewing guys another status update for the channel. The game that I'm playing in the background is Planet Side 2, a free to play MMO FPS. It's pretty interesting, I, I've been enjoying uh, the game so far, we'll see how long that lasts however. But yeah, it is uh, fairly interesting in my opinion. Anyway, gonna be talking about Battle for Middle Earth and the walk for that, Hitman Absolution and Dragon Age Awakening, which I'm gonna do a walkthrough for. I'm actually gonna start that once I finish recording uh, this video and rendering this video in Sony Vegas. Um, Dragon Age Awakening is an interesting point because it's the first game I ever did the Let's Play for in early 2010, so yeah, it's uh, gonna be interesting to do another Let's Play for that game. I think story-wise it's pretty solid, It's prob it probably has the best story of all Dragon Age games. It does have a great deal of bugs, it does have gameplay problems, but I honestly I don't think any Dragon Age, any of Dragon Age games has good gameplay. So yeah, it's a moot point for me really, it doesn't really matter. Um, that's my opinion on the matter. Dragon Age Awakening, best Dragon Age game in my opinion. Can, gonna enjoy playing it. Great characters, great story. And I think Bioware could do well if they just went for that smaller scope and instead of touching upon a story that where choices affect the entire galaxy. But because that's so huge in scope. We'll see what they can do. Uh, I guess CD Projekt is just starting a continent-wide war between uh, Nilfgaard and Northern Kingdoms, but hey, even at smaller in scope than an entire fucking galaxy or an, an entire an entire world, actually, with Phaedas, which is what they're doing in uh, Dra Dragon Age 3. I wish I could be hopeful for Dragon Age 3, but honestly, I'm really not hopeful at this point. There are just so, so many things that have been promised and to be honest the reason i'm not hopeful isn't because i i dislike dragon age 2 so much and that or mass Effect 3 so much that i think that bioware can never ever make a good game in the future i'm not like that if just because a company made one bad game at one point doesn't mean they can't make a good game in the future that's my opinion and i'm sticking with it However, with Dragon Age 3, the reason I'm not hopeful is because of statements made by Bioware with regards to Dragon Age 3, like statements by Gator, statements by various people in Bioware, so yeah. That's the reason I'm not hopeful. I won't go over that too much, however. Anyway, doing Dragon Age Awakening, gonna start it very soon. You should see an episode about half an hour after this video is... Um, uploaded and processed hopefully um as for battle for middle earth as you might have noticed that i've been quite slow with that like i made those three initial videos then i waited the day before i uploaded the fourth vid video the reason behind that is that with that specific let's play i wanted to do something more interesting and i t and i actually put that let's play on something awful which I kind of regret at the moment. Um, like, yeah, I just uploaded those three videos, then made the thread there. I checked the rules, I checked the f Let's Play threads and all of that. Um, and uh, just posted those three videos, and I got a lot of flack for posting three videos. Uh, so, yeah, let me just put it like this. Let, let me just put it, put it here simply. My experience with something awful has not been great with regard to Let's Plays. However, I will acknowledge one thing about something awful because quite a lot of, quite a few people on the internet say that let's plays there are of much higher quality than what you'd find on YouTube, and they're right for most let's plays. There are some let's plays on YouTube which, and just on YouTube, um, obviously they do use YouTube and they put post their videos on YouTube and link them there. Um, you can do that. Um, but there are let's plays done by people just on YouTube that are probably just about the same quality as let's plays uh, on something awful. But not that many, that's something to be noted. There's a lot of trash on YouTube. So yes, something awful has much higher quality standards than YouTube. 
but the response I got there was pretty much negative and I think the main reason it was negative wasn't because of the quality of my videos but mostly because I posted what people consider there to be too many videos so yeah I'll, I'll try continuing the let's play um, of battle for middle earth there but if it just con keeps continuing like this I'll just stop giving a damn about that forum and just continue doing it at a faster pace one thing I need to address here is that I've gotten some comments from people who say that a very few comments uh, from people who say that I do these things too fast well yes I I do admit that you can't I, I don't expect people who are subscribed to me to actually watch every single video that I upload on the day that up I upload them but here's the thing like I can do a let's play fast in a week two weeks three weeks and you can watch it uh, the way you want you don't have to watch it the moment I upload it or on the day I upload it or even the, the, on the same week I upload it I don't expect people to watch my let's plays the moment I upload them because I, pr I spend most of my day actually uh, recording videos when I do like say 10 vi videos a day that's about five hours a day or more, depending on whether or not I record the video again. Um, say for instance, I record a Dragon Age video, then I realize that it's crap or that the game has crashed for me and I've just lost all that footage, then in that situation I will record again around 20-30 minutes of footage, so that can happen. I don't expect someone to just sit down who's come for, who has to actually work. Um, come to YouTube and spend five hours a day watching my videos that's just not gonna happen really. so yeah watch them at your own pace that's my suggestion and I and you can watch uh, whatever portion you want and I'll be able to finish it quite quickly that's my that's how I view things personally maybe I'm wrong in that but I'm gonna stick with it um, as for Hitman Absolution let me just say that I never was really enthusiastic about that particular game and with the reviews being what they are, I'm probably not gonna get it, very likely not gonna get it. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to say here, Christine here, signing out.